Hey everybody, Donkey Storm here, and today I'm bringing you a guide about Shadowlands legendaries and how they work. We're going to go over the basics of how to obtain a legendary in Shadowlands, compare it to the legendary system in Legion, and I'll give you my thoughts on this updated feature. As always, if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to see more WoW content from me in the future, I always greatly appreciate a sub. Alright then, let's get into it. So I have to admit, I loved legendaries in Legion. I really enjoyed how having different legendaries could completely change the way your character played. I liked using different legendaries for different fights, and I even have to admit that I somewhat enjoyed that a legendary could drop for me doing pretty much anything. I felt like it added a small bit of excitement to all the Legion content. When Blizzard announced that legendaries were going to be removed in BFA, I was bummed. Sure, the legendary system was far from perfect, but to remove it entirely felt like more dumbing down of the way characters played, which is no fun at all. So if you didn't play in Legion, legendaries were completely RNG. They could drop off of literally any content, from LFR to mythic raid bosses to your mythic plus chest. You had absolutely no control over what legendary you got, and some legendary items were flat out way better than others. If you got a dud of a legendary, it could be a long time before you got another one, and if that one was a dud, things could get really frustrating. I remember that by the time my guild had gotten through Emerald Nightmare, I had two of the worst legendaries for my class and my DPS really suffered. My alt rogue, however, got two of the best legendaries as I randomly played him, which ended up influencing me to make him my main. This is not how the game should be played. And luckily, in Shadowlands, it won't be. So let's get into how Shadowlands legendaries will be obtained. The RNG aspect of legendaries is being pretty much completely removed from Shadowlands. Basically, all classes have several legendary effects they get to choose from, and you apply these effects to a gear slot of your choosing, although there are some limitations in that regard. You even get to choose your secondary stats in the process, so your legendary item is going to be highly customizable. We'll get into exactly what you need in a second. So on the plus side of this new system, you won't have to worry about getting stuck with derpy legendaries until you just happen to get lucky. You'll be able to choose whichever legendary effect you want. Playing devil's advocate though, isn't everybody going to just find out what the best legendary effects and stats are and end up with the same thing? Yeah, probably, if we're being realistic, but I still see this as an overall positive. Being burned by the Legion legendary RNG drop system was not fun. At least in this case, we'll be actively working toward earning legendaries of our choosing. So how do you get them? Here's what we know so far, which is not complete information at the moment of this recording. A legendary item requires four components. The first is called a base item. A base item is basically a blank item for the slot you want to craft a legendary for. It can be made by tailors, blacksmiths, leather workers, and jewel crafters, depending on the type of armor you want to make, and the recipes are found in Torghast. So you can either craft these yourself or buy them on the auction house. You can see some examples of what these look like here. The second thing you'll need to craft your legendary is two stat runes. To define the secondary stats you want on your legendary, you'll need to obtain stat runes, which are crafted by inscriptionists. You'll need to find two of them to determine what secondary stats your item has. The next thing you'll need is a legendary power. These are obtained in the form of memories by completing various Shadowlands content. We've seen many of the Shadowlands legendary powers before, some in the form of Legion legendaries, previous tier sets, and some also are brand new. And the last thing that you'll need is a currency called Carceris, which we know is obtained from Torghast, but as of the time of this recording, we're not sure exactly how this is obtained. So to craft a legendary, you'll need the help of the Rune Carver, who you'll meet through a quest line early on upon hitting max level. That's right, you'll actually start working toward your first legendary shortly after hitting max level. So in all likelihood, you'll have already had a legendary item of your choice when you set foot in the first Shadowlands raid. So what's your opinion of the new legendary system? Do you like the idea of being able to craft any legendary you want, or will it lead to everyone running around with the exact same legendaries? Here's my final thought. In Legion, that's what happened anyway. For example, every rogue wore the mantle of the Master Assassin, it's just that some got it right away and others had to wait a long time for it. So is it worth it to take away the RNG and the long wait for the legendary item you want? 
I believe that it is. I'm pretty excited for this new system, but I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments section. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, throw me a like or a sub to see more of my WoW content in the future. This has been Donkey Storm, and thank you for watching.